6 weather is brought to you by Aztec Chevrolet in Beeville. Visit AztecAutoplex.com. Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Here is your Aztec Chevrolet forecast. Take a look at this video over on Airline near SPID today. This is a uh, pictures from uh, Dylan Moore of our staff and boy it was coming down there this morning about 5 a.m. It was absolutely pouring and just what we needed to uh, cleanse the city and uh, freshen everything up. That spectacular rain out of the, one of those outer bands from the remnants of Fernon. As you can see here it's the uh, beauty of the the rain and the bigger the rain the beautiful the weather is after the rain and that's what's going on right now outside on our sky cam and we had a rainbow today uh, shot and sent in by Larry Moore. This was over Rivera Beach near Baffin Bay. Isn't that a beautiful sight right there? There's been some double rainbows reported too. Here is the uh, Doppler radar showing the rain moving in. It, again, it happened in that feeder band that we talked about last night that was out in the Gulf of Mexico and it really fired up uh, this morning around 5 a.m. and pushed through the region. It's all gone now. There are some showers down here near Hebronville and that is just about it. And uh, the, all of this activity is dying out, but the heaviest of rain, you can see it in these bands coming through. This is what happens when you have tropical showers in a landfalling tropical system where our south. So uh, west of Portland, they had 3.8 inches of rain there. Uh, south of Taft, uh, we had uh, one of our weather watchers, John Beard, right here on the bay. He had 4.5 inches of rain. That was the biggest total reported anywhere. Bayside had about 1.9. It rained heavily in Rockport and also north of Port Aransas. And here in town, you can see the rainfall amounts. Uh, Victor Salter had nearly two inches of rain on Carmel Parkway. Mr. Garza had over two inches of rain on the south side of town, near south side of town, I should say, at Staples and Galahar. And downtown area had 2.6, and that's what caused all the flooding that we saw. The weather story is that the, the rain was needed, and we had between 1 and 3 inches in many areas, especially around the city where we needed it most. Upper level high pressure is coming back, though, and that's going to dry us out. It's doing so right now. That'll lead to above normal temperatures again over the weekend. The tropical Atlantic is active, but no threat here. And that's a big thumbs up. It's clearing out from uh, northeast to southwest across the region right now as high pressure moves in. So a little bit of sunshine this evening. Temperatures in the 80s will drop to about 80 at midnight with very light winds and will go on down into the mid 70s by morning with 90 at noon and 91 light winds and hotter tomorrow afternoon and a lot of sunshine. Here's those winds barely blowing now. They'll be calm in the morning and uh, then a gentle breeze tomorrow afternoon. Great weather for Friday night football as this high pressure suppresses activity and pushes the moisture. You can see it right here moving away from South Texas. So there's the high in the area and again that's going to be dominating our weather for the next several days as it continues to take up residence here and protect us from tropical activity. Future tracker shows uh, no rainfall of significance tomorrow. A few clouds in the morning, but that'll be about it. And there is uh, what's left of Dorian paralleling the coast as a Category 2 hurricane. And again, a big problem for the folks in North Carolina, as we saw earlier tonight. NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast. Still hot the next three days. 74 tonight, 94 here on Friday, 96 Saturday, 94 Sunday. A few little showers come back, but nothing tropical here Monday and Tuesday as our temperatures stay above normal. But when we get that first big cold front, it'll be the sweetest thing we've ever had happen to us. <laughs> I think we're ready. Got our eyes looking down the road for that thing. That's a big deal when it happens. All right. Hey, let's.